Hello, welcome back to the Embraer Systems family. This is RBA and today I'm going to show you how to perform RTS test or return to service test. Usually you do this test when you have a flight control no dispatch display on ICAS. Right now we don't have it, but we're gonna assume just for the training purposes. Uh, first, you gotta go to your maintenance page, which is located on your MFD2, and you scroll down to maintenance, and then you're gonna select system diagnostics. Flight controls is chapter 27, and under that you're gonna go flight control systems. And down below, return to service test. Test initializing. Okay. The step one, it tells you to follow the AMM procedures. Always obey your references step by step. Not miss any single step of it. Read all of it. The second test, it tells you to pressurize the hydraulic system. Right now, it shows a red dot which is an indication that it's not pressurized, as you can see here on your uh, hydraulic page. Let's see. All right. Now we're gonna go up to our hydraulic panel and turn one, two, and system three on. Pressure is building, and we have 3,000 psi showing. Our pressure indication shows green, and you can go ahead now and continue your test. Um, key point: make sure your trust lever is in the aisle position, and also your flight control modules one, two, three, and four pivot test pass. When you don't have that pass message, that means that something is wrong and you gotta go back to AMM and fix it before you perform this test. Now we're gonna go ahead and do number uh, four. Next page. It's right now, the inhibit condition message page shows up. And now, uh, Tell us to switch the flight control maintenance switch to the on position. That switch is located behind the FL seat in that compartment and is guarded by a red guard. Lift up your switch. When you do that, always you're gonna have AOA limit fail message and flight control not dispatch. Now, now you can go ahead and clear the ram. White stripes come on, an indication that is already selected, and the inhibit conditions should be reading with all of them. Okay, we did not get that condition. To go all green and we're gonna step back to the previous page and try to find out what was the problem okay we missed a step we did not click the start RTS test all right, let's do that. RTS stripes come on. Aha! Test is running. Flight control modules pivot pass. Now we can go forward. And your uh, inhibit indication is all green now. Uh, if you have something that is not looking right, you can always go back to your previous page and try to find out what did you miss. See what happened? I just missed a step. I went back and 
corrected. Now I can go ahead and clear the ramp, white stripes, because my switch was already on and everything is green. We go to the next page. And now it's telling us to set this flight control switch maintenance switch back to the off position. We take it down. Those two messages are gonna go away. And it's telling us to make sure that there are no flight control ICAS messages active. And now it tells us to go and do the start the flight control test. White stripes, they go away, and then we go to the next page. Perfect. So now it's telling us to move the control column fully forward and hold it for three seconds and then return it to neutral and then move it back, hold it for three seconds and return it to neutral. Uh, we're gonna do that. But first, we gotta change our screen here to flight controls to make sure that we're doing a travel correctly. All right, so it says to go forward. Bring it back to neutral. Back. Bring it back to neutral. Push the elevator flight control push button that is broken in your center pedestal. This light is now it's right there if I shade the, the panel, the elevator. Light comes on, elevator fall comes up, three seconds went by, and press it again. Okay, so now you see how a few green dots came on the screen. The main idea is to have everything green. Now the next step is telling us to do the same thing again. Pull it, push it, pull it, and let's see. We're gonna go forward. Bring it back to neutral. And you see how those green dots come up. Okay, your flight control modules are all good test in progress now you can go ahead and continue to the next page okay now it says move the left right up pedal and hold it for three seconds and then move the right one and hold it for three seconds let's do that no green that's yet we're bring it back to neutral we do the right leg and we bring it back to neutral and you see that the green lights start to show up and then we, hit, we go ahead on the flight control module it tells us to do the rudder switch we hold it for three seconds Deselect it and we're gonna do the left leg again. One, two, three, back to neutral and the right leg. And notice how the green lights are gonna show all of them together. Flight control modules are all good and we can continue forward.
nice tell us telling us to turn the control your counterclockwise and hold it for three seconds and then turn it to neutral and then turn it to the clockwise direction and hold it for three seconds okay counterclockwise back to neutral clockwise back to neutral and next step is to move the speed brake handle to the fully extended position lift it up and pull it to the extended position again so that's a message and then you can bring it back okay message went away test passed and we can do our next step and go forward to the next page set the flight control system main and switch to the on position Okay, we're going to reset the memory, clear RAM, okay, we're going to turn the switch down. And the memory is clear and everything is green. Test complete. And that's it for the flight control system test. Thank you very much. If you have any suggestions or comments, please drop me a line. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of the one, uh, 170, 175, and 190 system troubleshooting processes.